Welcome to the NCAA Softball Super Regionals presented by Capital One. The second Super Regional to begin is in Stillwater, Oklahoma, which is getting quite used to hosting this Super Regional round. The unseeded Oregon Ducks come to town to take on six-seeded Oklahoma State. Postseason softball. They're having a terrific year. And she'll try to lay down a bunt. It's a good one, and Luchar is going to beat it easily ahead of the throw from Bloodworth. Regional. Here goes Luchar. Tucks throws a one-hopper, and the tag not in time. Excellent contact hitter. Will hit a ball to Naomi. Has to hurry to first, and she does. It was cleanly scooped by Michaela Wark. Confident in her first at bat. And she'll finally put one in play in back of second. Rachel Becker is there, and Kilfoyle wins the battle on the ninth pitch. Off the end of the bat into left field, that will travel, and that will be caught. Talon Edwards, the freshman, runs it down in front of the Oklahoma State faithful at the left field. Becker strikes out. Well, that is an unexpected start. He's very good spin. First pitch to Cheyenne Factor is out in the right. Ariel Carlson there for a much quicker out. She hits that ball hard, but right to the shortstop, Paige Sadecki, and it's a one-two. Humphreys a soft ground ball. This will be Naomi from short, who does not have a play. It's an infield single. The speed of Humphreys. It's up to. Delgado slaps one back to Kilfoyle. She'll go to first. And it is just in time. Focused on her in the circle. On the ground right side, that'll sneak through from Daniel. Humphreys with blinding speed will score without a throw. And it's Oregon, the unseated Ducks. For a team that likes to attack early, very aggressive early in the game. Had a chance with the runner in scoring position in the first inning at Oklahoma State. Tracked one down in the outfield, and now they're able to score with their second opportunity with the runner in scoring position. This is something that Oregon did so well in the regional last weekend. With one. Bird tries to bunt. Tuck throws behind it first, and Daniel just got in there. Yeah, Daniel got a couple more steps towards second base. She was leaning. I thought that throw got her from our angle here in the booth. Maybe... The tip of her finger got Two for Bird, who strikes out. First of the game for Lexi Kilfoyle. Sinicki bloops it right back to Kilfoyle, and that'll do it. Freshman Michaela Wark here with a ground ball base hit off of Morgan Scott to start the second. She likes to use that to her advantage. Caitlin Carwile slicing down the line and left. That's tracked down by Kai Luchar in foul territory. 3-2. On the ground to third base, backing up Bird, gets one at second, and the Ducks turn two. After the regional failures of the last couple of years. Luchar slaps it to a drawn in Bloodworth, and Bloodworth's throw is there. Bunker to third, Bloodworth again. McGowan to shortstop. It will be a 3 up 3 down on just nine pitches. Senior Morgan Scott. And Edwards pops it up. Short center field. This will be the left fielder, Luchar. It's a quite big 12 ready. They thought she would be at some point, though, and here she is in her hometown, dropping in a base hit in her fifth Oklahoma State year in another Super Regional. UMBC and Wichita State. Slaps this one in the right, right at Carlson. Another first pitch strike. Struck right to Humphreys and more weak contact against Scott. Kenny Guy. Another ground ball right back to Lexi. Second time through the order. Another ground ball is short. Naomi makes the play this time. Delgado slaps it. Naomi couldn't pick it. Hannah Delgado and the Oregon speed striking again. And the Ducks have a two-out base runner. It's going to be called out of the box, but 
And yeah, you see the second base umpire call it, who's just back behind second base. She's going to call her out of the box. And well, that keeps you calm. A little pop up here, and Factor is retired. Naomi sends a high fly ball to the left. Kylie Naomi solves the spin and squares the score. Into a sea of orange and white. Go, and this time she goes up looking for it. A pitch out over the middle of the plate. She is on time and just absolutely drills that ball into the night. It looked like it was going to go over the white pole. That was a towering shot. The senior ties up this game. Her sixth career home run of the NCAA tournament. To that interview. <laughs> On 3-2, it's a walk for work. Carwile chops it. That is a fair ball off the glove of Humphreys. Carwile's going to dash to second. Work will hold at third. It's a double off the glove of the first baseman. And Oklahoma State has put a pair in scoring position. Oh, 3-0 swing. Right back to the circle. And it's spiked by Scott. She had worked dead to right at the plate and dumped it into the ground. And Oklahoma State bizarrely takes the lead. Angle down, sees the ball on the ground. She's going immediately. And Morgan Scott just did not look confident with that throw, almost thinking it's going to go to first base. And that ball to Scott just was not expecting work to go home and we're not able to take advantage of it for an hour. Edwards punches it off the glove of the shortstop. Paige Siddiqui couldn't get to it. And that means Oklahoma State has a three spot in the fourth with Carwile crossing. Earlier Oregon was getting their hits to fall and now it's Oklahoma State. I was just over the head of Paige Snicky. She tried to time it up. She was right there reaching as far as she possibly could. Oklahoma State just getting all the falls, and it started with Kylie Naomi and that home run. After 33 in the first three combined. And Tuck takes it for a walk on a 1-2. Bloodworth punches it. Caught by the second baseman. Bunker, who turns a brilliant double play. They would take my health. A torn left hip for Labrum. That softly hit to first. And another ground out for the kill foil in the game. Bird floats one in the left field. That is caught by Edwards. Shinky. Down she goes. Another one, two, three inning. No Rachel Becker against Reagan Breedlove, and that's a four pitch walk. Rachel Becker inevitably at doing. But by Factor. Whoa, look at this throw go in the right center field. Delgado saved it from getting to the fence. Feels. And here's a butt from Naomi. It's a beaut, but she is thrown out on a beautiful play. And work a first pitch swing. That is grabbed by the second baseman, Bunker. Another terrific play, but a run scores. Carwile takes ball four, a tight one. Mm. A confident win left field. That ball is drilled. That ball is gone. Morgan Wynn sends the Grove into overdrive. It's a party in Stillwater. Edwards, Chopper, and that will end the inning. What a long, strange trip. And now, if Oklahoma State wins this game, now you can try to close the series out with a well-rested Kelly Maxwell in game two. Yes, you're right, and 
Just want to point out that Lou Shar is going to be called out of the box by the second base umpire. Made this call twice. Wants the foot cross the plate. Yep. Or cross the batter's box line. It's off of their reaction. Allie Bunker to third and Bloodworth two down. Okay, forgive the stupid question because I know the game has evolved in certain ways, but mysteries. <laughs> McGowan into center field. Factor got a late break, but she hauls it in. The first hits. And a super regional will feature eight games tomorrow. Taylor Tuck is out. They come back for them. And that ball is stroked by the pinch hitter Lott. It will find the wall in right center field, and Lott will find second base. Katie Lott. For emotion. That ball slapped off the glove of Humphreys, and Oregon has trouble on the dirt again. That's a hit. Should be an error. Kylie Naomi now, and this is popped up. This will be taken by Bunker, and there will be no run rule. It's out. Strike three, Carlson goes down. The second base, it's Becker. What a play. One and two. On the ground to second. Becker throws it. Oklahoma State wins it. Lexi Kilfoyle in her first Super Regional game as a cowgirl throws a complete game. Retiring the final 17 hitters she faces. And a late offensive surge gives Oklahoma State that all-important 1-0 lead.